please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Springview Eagles. Today is Monday, February 24th. Welcome back to school. Stay in touch with what's going on at Springview via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Reminder, as always, to please turn off all cell phones now and put them away and spit out any gum. Girls basketball today versus Antelope Crossing. Go Eagles! Library closure. Good morning from the library. We will be closed all day today, including break, 5A and 5B due to pentathlon testing. Please take care of your library needs after school. Students wishing to return books may do so in the front office. Students with PE exclusions will report to the front office instead of the library. Thank you and sorry for the inconvenience. GSSA meeting canceled this week. There will be no GSSA meeting on Wednesday this week due to a school-wide activity. See you next time. Day 11, June 15, 1921. Bessie Coleman receives her pilot's license in France. Since no American flight schools accepted women or blacks. Bessie Coleman was a dreamer from Waxahachie. She dreamed one day she would be somebody. Bessie was smart. She had education. She loved to read books and solve number equations. Bessie took her dreams up north to see her brother's barber shop in the Windy City. Bessie got a job filing soldiers' nails and she listened as the soldiers told her tales. Tales of lady pilots flying high, doing figure eights and loop-de-loops in the French sky. So Bessie sailed off to France, learning the French would give her a chance. And given a chance, Bessie took off and flew on the wings of her dreams into the wild. Bessie Coleman was 29 years old when she received her pilot's license from the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale, FAI. Since the license was international, Bessie was able to fly anywhere in the world, something she would not have been able to do if she studied in the United States. Robert Abbott, publisher of the Chicago Defender newspaper, told Bessie of the schools in France. The newspaper sponsored her and covered her story as she made progress. Yeah.